Good evening. I'd like to call the City of West Bend Licensing Board for Monday, January 8th, 2018 to order and recognize that we do have a quorum this evening with Alderman Hutchins absent. Item number one is approval of the minutes from the regular meeting of December 18th, 2017. Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? That motion carries. Item number two is approval of operator's licenses. Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And opposed? That motion carries. Be no further business before the licensing board. I adjourn. I would like to call the City of West Bend Common Council for Monday, January 8th, 2018 to order and recognize that Alderman Hutchins is absent uh, and excused and we do have a quorum of the council tonight. Please rise for the posting of colors. Present out. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Oh. Ready. Order up. Thank you. Item number one on tonight's agenda is approval of the minutes from the December 18th, 2017 meeting. Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any questions, comments, or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? That motion carries. I should have also mentioned Alderman Butchlick is absent and excused as well. We still do have a quorum. Uh, item number two tonight is approval of operator's licenses. Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? That motion's, motion carries. Uh, we can do item numbers three and four together. It's oaths of office for police officers Carly Groskoff as well as police officer Kyle McMullen. We have a presentation tonight by Chief of Police Ken Moyler. Please raise your right hand. 
state after me, I, Carly K. Grosskopf. I, Carly K. Grosskopf. Who, who have been appointed. Who have been appointed. As police officer. As police officer. In the, in the in said city of West Bend. In said city of West Bend. Washington County. Washington County. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. Of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge. The duties of said office. The duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I pin uh, Carly's badge on. I'll just introduce you very briefly. Carly is uh, from Cedarburg. She's a graduate of Cedarburg High School. She come a uh, graduate of uh, Milwaukee Area Technical College for an associate degree. And this last December, she completed the now uh, 720 hours of police recruit training. Uh, she's one of the top people in her class. So congratulations, yeah. Carly. Raise your right hand. State after me. I, Kyle M. McCullen. I, Kyle M. McMullen. Who have been appointed. Who have been appointed. As police officer. As police officer. In said city of West Bend. In said city of West Bend. Washington County. Washington County. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of Wisconsin. Of the state of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge. I will faithfully discharge. The duties of said office. The duties of said office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. And while I put Kyle's badge on, uh, Kyle comes to us from uh, Wausau, graduate of Wausau West High School, worked on his associate degree at UW Marathon County, and he completed his uh, recruit school at North Central Tech in Wausau this last December. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's get your play. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you, Chief. Congratulations, officers. Welcome aboard. Nice to see family and friends here. Congratulations on your new police officers. We're happy to have them. Moving ahead to item number five is a 2018 through 2020 Town of Barton fire contract approval. And we have a presentation tonight by Fire Chief Jerry Kudek. Good evening, Chief. Good evening. Uh, you have before you the contract that we uh, negotiated with the Town of Barton. Uh, it calls for a roughly a 2% increase in each of the three years of the contract. It, um, as you see, that it did expire on December 31st. There was a clause in that contract that continues it until a new one is negotiated, uh, which was completed at the end of December. I did put on the memo the current runs for the last five years. Uh, the 2017 numbers ended up being um, 120 EMS runs and 15 fire runs. Any, anything you can pinpoint as to why the EMS numbers jumped up so much? Uh, EMS numbers across the board are just a lot higher. Gotcha. So in this, um, we would still charge um, Town of Barton folks like we would City of West Bend folks for the ambulance ride. This is just to secure the services that we will go into the Town of Barton. Correct. Right? We have to have a contract for fire. Uh, the town has to have a fire contract. Uh, and since we do provide the fire contract, we provide ambulance service for that same area. Uh, they do pay more, actually, for the ambulance because we do have a resident and non-resident rate. 
Thanks, Chief. Any questions for the Chief? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? That motion carries. Thanks, Chief. Thank you. M number six is presentation and decision on fa facade improvement grant management. And we have a presentation tonight by Economic Development Manager, Adam Gitter. Welcome to the microphone. Good evening. Um, in my role as Economic Development Manager, I am also the um, Executive Director of the Downtown Business Improvement District. Uh, the West Bend EDC currently has the facade improvement grant. And what they had approached the city and the Downtown Business Improvement District to do is take over the management of the facade improvement grant. Currently it has $37,000 in its fund. Um, that's not to say that it can't be replenished at any time with um, either grant writing or coming pulling budget. Um, right now within my role as economic development manager, I am also managing other funds within the city such as the city's revolving loan fund. Um, I meet with the, uh, business owners to discuss um, downtown business loan programs or other grant programs that are offered throughout the state. So um, the original thought was possibly having this go to management under the bid, but since I am the executive director of the bid, that would mean I'm managing this in that role. The recommendation that I would put forth is that we would take this on as the city and manage the funds through the city. That way we can cut out the middleman in there. Uh, I did put, uh, I did attach the facade improvement grant manual. I've made some changes to include the Barton Historic Commercial District and then also a recent change hopefully to include a member of the um, Barton area as representation on the committee. Currently the committee has seven members but I would bring that number down to five and possibly change one with Barton or add another individual up to six or seven. Um, otherwise, I had notes along the side, increasing the amount that we could loan to others from 5,000 to anywhere we would want. We could use our discretion on that. And then um, there's a new attached map as you go down. And that is all. Are there any questions? Adam? I just wanted to say, <clears throat> um, so this was originally just created for the bid district, so I'm kind of excited to see uh, Barton get added to that, and we'll see if anyone takes advantage of it. The only other thing, um, I think we might have to tweak the committee just because there's a bid, bid member, um, museum member, and I don't think those would necessarily apply to like the Barton applications, but um, yeah. Kind of exciting. Go Barton, right? District 7 representative. <laughs> um, and in general, this is a, a matching grant, right? It's not a revolving loan. So if the building owner comes up with at least $10,000, we would consider granting Correct. an equivalent amount. Right? Yes. And I, I see some wording in that you've got regarding uh, the backs of the buildings, at least for the bid district or the downtown, yeah, the bid district. Um, which I think is great as we continue to improve the river. It'll be nice to encourage folks there. And, and I assume you'll put in some similar type wording uh, for the Barton area as well. And then one quick thank you to the EDC who created the fund and managed it well for many, many years. Thanks to them for uh, the service to West Bend and for entrusting us with their remaining dollars uh, to use judiciously. Good luck with it. Any, any questions for Adam? Otherwise, I'd entertain a motion on the item. Motion, motion to approve. approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? That motion carries. Thanks, Adam. Item number seven is an ordinance creating section 9.291 of the municipal code entitled Sexting Prohibited. This is the second reading for that. Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any questions? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? Aye. That motion carries. Item number eight is advisor, advisory referendum questions to be placed on the ballot for April 3rd, 2018 spring election. Um, Alderman Katzen, can you lead us through the last work of the committee and what your recommendations are? Absolutely. Thanks, Craig. So the Long Range Transportation Committee has been meeting for about two, three months 
as, we, as we've looked for ideas on how to uh, improve <clears throat> funding for the roads. Um, it's interesting, we had uh, some good conversation. Um, some of us receive a fair amount of, of attention in, tar in terms of, of fixing the roads, whereas others on the committee receive almost no calls at all. So kind of tells you that we're in a, an area where it's, there's a, a big difference of opinion in, in, with regards to the roads. Um, ultimately, we, we did hold three um, public listening sessions. Um, that were sparsely attended, <laughs> I would say would be the best way to put it. I think we had uh, four, four people attend the three uh, total, attend the three, um, the three uh, public forums. Uh, Max and Jay did a very, very nice job of putting uh, some supporting uh, pieces together for those. Um, and maybe we'll get them on the website so that people can, can take a look at them. Ultimately, what we decided was to put forth a recommendation for an advisory referendum um, where about two weeks ago I think we passed the ordinance that allowed us to do the advisory referendum this is the actual execution of that advisory referendum right now we're looking at four questions you have all four questions in your packet two of them are around different levels of property tax increase one is asking if a wheel tax would be uh, amenable to the to the residents and finally, the last question would be if they support Washington County sharing their sales tax revenues um, as a way of us in, in getting uh, revenue to improve our roads. Um, the key takeaways from all of this are one, the referendum itself is advisory only, doesn't bind the council anyway, um, doesn't bound, bind future councils to take any action either. It's completely res uh, advisory so that we can get a, a good feel for what the uh, what the residents are looking for in terms of roads uh, this is not a budgetary fix we're not fixing any budget holes um, again this I know that's kind of been portrayed in social media that is not um, our, our what we're asking for this is simply to um, see if there is an interest in, in getting to roads quicker uh, fin finally the wheel tax uh, we know it has negative cons or, uh, connotations within the public um, the key piece for the wheel tax is that that is the only solution that designates funds um, that can be explicitly used for road projects. The other options that are out there um, in terms of the property tax increase, we can say we're going to use them, but if, if future councils or even this council decided to change their mind, there is nothing that binds us um, to keeping on the roads. So that's why we put the wheel tax uh, question out there. Um, we've had some questions around why we did not keep a um, or put out a question to do to keep the status quo. Uh, currently, the city spends about a million dollars a year with a four percent uh, bump each year to uh, take care of road projects. Um, it was our uh, belief on the um, the committee that the question really wouldn't help us. If the public were to answer no to all four questions, um, that it basically is, is saying to us, keep the status quo. If we put a status quo question out there, um, I think it would just confuse people. Um, if we had a fifth question and we're working um, down that path. The final piece is, you know, we're expecting people to answer all four questions um, if council so desires to go with those four questions. Um, so it's not a just answer yes to one, it's answer all four questions. They can answer yes to all of them, meaning yes, spend, spend, spend. Uh, you can answer no to all of them. Like we said, that would be the status quo of, of continuing to spend that million dollars with the 4% bump. Um, or you can um, pick the, the um, solutions that you think uh, are, are, the, are the best for uh, moving forward. So with that, um, I don't know if I'll open it up for discussion in terms of, of you know, the questions themselves, if they, the format. Um, we do have to get this out to um, publication. I believe it's by January 24th. Um, so that's why we're bringing it to council now so that we have a little bit of time if there are changes to the uh, structure or the, the, the comments on each question. Um, you'll notice that each question, uh, aside from the state sales tax question, does state that we do spend the million dollars with the 4% bump. So that is 
you know, right out in the forefront. We don't expect anybody here is, is on the council has any appetite to reduce the spending on the roads. So, so with that, uh, any questions or comments? Ian, you got a clarification? So to comply with our ordinance, um, I just wanted to provide an oral report that these are all suitable legislative matters for an advisory referendum. That was part of the ordinance that was passed to have the city attorney give a report that they're suitable legislative matters for a referendum. So on the record, they are suitable. Great. Thanks, Ian. Richard, do you mind just hitting the four questions, just the dollar amounts? Sure. Real quick, just to... Let me pull them up here. So the first question that we've got is uh, one of the property tax uh, questions, and that would be an increase of um, get to the actual number here. An increase of one point two million dollars um, per year in, in terms of of property tax increase. That would be approximately 46 cents per thousand dollars on uh, on a for an assessed value on your house. Um, that 1.2 million would then be put towards a borrowing um, that would um, allow us, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody in the committee or Jay, I believe this was a 12 to 15 million dollar borrowing. This was able to uh, to get us to. Um, as you know, we've got three major roads that'll that are looking at that $15 million um, over the next probably 10 years as well. Um, the second question is roughly the same uh, structure, but it's only looking at a $640,000 million, or $640, uh, property tax increase, which would be about 23 cents per, per thousand uh, on your assessed value. That gets us about to a seven and a half, seven, seven and a half, million dollar uh, borrowing um, doesn't get us all the way to, to the to the full 15 um, the wheel tax uh, otherwise um, known as a vehicle registration fee would apply to all cars that are registered uh, private cars that are registered within the city does not include fleet vehicles or uh, business vehicles um, and that would be a twenty dollar vehicle registration fee annual and that would generate approximately six hundred and forty thousand dollars as well again being used towards a borrowing of about seven hundred fifty thousand or seven hundred seven point five million and then finally um, the other issue that we've been uh, kind of bantering about is that Washington County currently imposes imposes a 0.5 percent sales tax throughout the county uh, they do, none of those dollars are shared with any of the local municipalities at all so uh, we put forth a, a resolution that asked them to distribute up to 25% of the revenues with the municipalities. Uh, that would be about 600,000 plus or minus for West Bend that we would then apply to uh, borrowing again for the roads. Again, being um, the $600,000 range uh, is the one that gets us to about the seven and a half million, um, which is about half of what those three major roads are. Thanks, Rich. Um, and then I think you mentioned your opening comments, but the wheel tax version is the only one that this council could bind and require be purely invested into road maintenance. So if property taxes were increased, this current council could say that's going to roads. A future council could decide to squander those, or can it be? Explain what you. The mayor's statement is accurate. It's it's earmarked money for roads solely. Yes, road improvements. And the the sales tax, by agreement, that one could be as could well. Be as well, with okay. the county, if, yeah. if it was depending on how a future. Okay, right. perfect. Um, maybe else have any questions? I've got just one one question. I, I I spoke to a service club middle of last week, and I I mentioned um, that the folks should kind of pay attention to this topic. To be coming forward and i was asked why we even need the advisory referendum the council has the ability to make these types of decisions on our own isn't that what we're elected f to do um are we just wasting everyone's time i under understand the comment um my re re reply was 
that I don't know that any one of us was elected solely based on the road maintenance question, and that I felt in a world where government very often is viewed as not openly communicating, that this really gave this council an opportunity to communicate directly to the public, the public to give us an answer on a specific topic. So I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable with it. I'm actually kind of proud that we're doing it. Um, and I hopefully answered the gentleman's question uh, appropriately the other day. So I don't have any other questions for, for Rich unless anyone else does. So we need action to say go ahead with moving this process forward. Right. Motion to motion. approve. Second. A motion has been made and seconded. Any final questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? Aye. That motion carries. Thanks to Rich and the Long Range Transportation Committee. Yeah, thanks. There's a lot. I mean, um, Alderman Wilcat, Alderman Jenkins, uh, Alderman Hutchins, and Mike Hussar were part of that group. So, And the flock of the public that came. So thanks That's right. to all those folks. <laughs> and Max Marischal and Jay, they did a fine job helping us with the support. So. Well, good work. I Thank would, you. You know, like any election, and maybe especially this, I would encourage as many people to have their voice heard because, it, again, it's the one time we can really specifically communicate um, on a or communicate specifically on a, a singular topic. So good work. Item number nine is a report by Alderman Willikett regarding the planned commission meeting from last week. Um, maybe only had one thing, and it was to vacate the street, um, Franklin, which is part of the brewery development. It's a quick meeting. I also had extra territorial CSM. Uh, that was pretty innocuous. <laughs> good. Any questions for Adam? Item number 10, the report by Jay, if you could, regarding the Deer Management Committee meeting and the upcoming uh, hunt. The Deer Management Committee met last week as well, same day as Plan Commission, and reviewed the applicants, the successful applicants that passed both the proficiency test and the, and the written test. There were six of them, five that proved to be City of West Bend residents that qualified for the hunt, and the Deer Management Committee reviewed both of the parks that were selected by the council and decided that it was in the best interest of removing the most deer by selecting only Lac La Ronde Conservancy. It took into account some of the comments about Ridge Run and, and just decided that having all five hunters earmarked for Lac La Ronde would be the best for this year's pilot project. So that's, that's the direction that the hunters have been given. Three of them were in attendance that night at the meeting and we're pretty excited about helping the city of West Bend out in removing some deer. That hunt begins this Wednesday and they've been allowed to bait since they, they were appointed to their zones. Hopefully they're getting a little warmer weather so it'll cooperate with them a little bit. Any questions for Jay? I was just curious, any reason we think that less people ended up qualifying or showing up or? Yeah, the, the committee talked about that a little bit. We really didn't know what to expect as far as numbers are concerned. We had a lottery planned in case we had more than nine, yeah. which we had zones for. I think timing-wise, if this proves to be successful, uh, the Deer Management Committee will have some additional time to plan for a 2018 uh, later in the year hunt, potentially, if that's selected. Um, December or whenever the experts, I don't claim to be a deer hunter and have shared that often at the committee, but. Uh, provide advice. We'll just have more opportunity to to have those proficiencies test tests in advance, and I, I think we'll generate some more interest. That's good. Thank you. Anybody else? There being no further business before the Common Council, I adjourn. Are there any announcements tonight? Nope. Then good night and have a great evening, everyone. <laughs>